Hey, it's Saj, your local Austin realtor. I am here in Georgetown, Texas today. Now, you usually see me at New Builds, but today I have something special to show you. This house is built in 1892. Now, it's gonna need a little bit of work, but if you're looking for a house that is as original as it can get, this house is gonna be really impressive to you. It, it is definitely been kept to the original. I, I don't know how else to say it. Um, and I wanna thank Connie Rogers with Keller Williams. She's the listing agent of this property for allowing me to come out here and take a YouTube video of her MLS listing. I really appreciate it. Her information's in the description too if you have any questions. I'm a realtor too here in Austin, Texas area and I would love to help you buy a house even like this one here. So um, give me a call also. My, my information's in the description. With no further ado, I don't want to waste your time. Let's go in and go inside the house and take a look at it. So as you can see here, there's a really nice front porch and typical for older houses, there's like a rocking chair right there and a fan. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. First thing you're gonna notice is the wallpaper. The house is definitely kept to the original. It's nice and cool in here. Um, definitely not a central AC house to find the light for this, there we go. So, as soon as you walk in, you're definitely taken back in time. <laughs> Look at that, that arch right there. See a bunch of wallpaper. So this is like a foyer here, and you can see the original hardwood floor throughout this house. As soon as you make a right, you're gonna be in the living room Living room has some nice views of the front of the house um, from the street, Austin Avenue. And one thing that really intrigued me from the MLS postings is these mirrors right here. I have not seen House of Mirrors. And if you know why in, in the late 1800s builds, why they would put a mirror here above the fireplace, please comment below. I, I would like to find out myself. But this is a real fireplace. It looks like it's lost some of the um, bricks down there that go with it, but that's fine. Um, you can see here. Definitely no, no central AC here. Um, there's a air conditioning unit. Now, let's figure out what's going on with this room here. Looks to be like another living room of some type. So there's a formal living and this must be a living or a study here so let's see this right here here is the kitchen some nice high ceilings in this house that's the one thing I'd say I'm very impressed with is this a radiator that's still hanging around Wow, there's a radiator still hanging around. And what's this? If anybody knows what this is used for, I think this is to talk to people upstairs. <laughs> I always hear these homes are built in such a way that you couldn't hear anybody from upstairs. Um, so it's definitely the kitchen area. And this is the hallway that kind of just goes from the front door to this area. We're gonna head out there. This is something I saw in the pictures I thought was super cool. And there's also a door to this room. This is a study um, or a library. Um, they definitely um, need some, we need definitely need to turn on the light here. Okay, so as you can see, look at that ceiling backsplash right there. It's so original. And then you have this sliding thing here that goes back and forth. Uh, this is where they would put their books or I don't know, I don't know what else, but if you know what goes there, please comment below and tell me. There's a little storage space right here, right under the, st the staircase, and another storage place. I assume this goes back out to the garage area, and that goes into the kitchen. So very similar to, you know, a typical uh, layout of a house right now um, that you would see any builder builds, 
in this price range, except there's a lot of walls that separate rooms with these older houses. Uh, a lot of doors too. This is definitely the laundry room here. Now this is definitely not the original tile um, that was put in, so I've definitely been, some flooring has been replaced in the house. Let's go ahead and up to this main hallway, get a last look at this kitchen. Um, there is some high potential here um, for you to bring your own ideas, TLC. I would definitely try to keep the house as original as possible, but you know, you definitely can do whatever you like with this. Now, this always uh, makes me think, you know, that this was probably a bedroom here. I've noticed in some late, early 30s, 20s houses that they have a bedroom in the back um, towards the backyard. And in fact, this room, there is a closet right here. Let's go ahead and check out what's in here. Yeah. And the garage is just right outside. It's not connected to the house, but through the backyard, you can definitely um, take a look at the garage. This door definitely needs some repair here. Here's the backyard. All right. Some more very big backyard at this house here. Um, very nice. This might, well, back in 1892, not very many people had a Ford Model T, if, if that had even been built, mass produced at the time. But back here, here's a kitchen, uh, the, the bathroom that's downstairs. And you can see this is definitely as original as it gets to the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, There's a little light right there. You just, <laughs> I've seen them in movies, you know, pull the light string. Um, this shower is definitely very original here. Um, plumbing is all original. There's something super cool about this house once we come out here. You can see this room right here where um, you can go straight into that bedroom right there. I call it a bedroom. And then you have the two living rooms and the kitchen and the full bath right there. Which the full bath, this would have to be a bedroom. Well, that's a study and then the bedroom from there. But this is what I really wanted to show you here. It's this lamp sitting here on the staircase. I wonder if it works. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Check this out. If you're looking for a house like this, you know, that you're gonna make some changes to, but keep the original Victorian style of, this is definitely a TLC house to check out here in Georgetown, Texas. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. <clears throat> definitely some work needs to be done with the stairs but when you get upstairs the house definitely feels much more solid let's get some lights on <clears throat> well but this is the main area I call these days we would call this more of a game room but you know back in those days they were putting a lot of walls and I'm not too sure which room this would actually be definitely much cooler in here but I would call this a bedroom here Flip the light on. There we go. Have another look at this. This is definitely a closet. Look at that little knob right there. 
I will say this, the stairs, you can still walk up the stairs, which is amazing. Um, look at those windows right there. And I guess that's to keep the dog from coming all the way upstairs. I have no idea why the electric panel, uh, there's, I think there's one down and up. If someone could explain that more in the comments so I could learn something about this. Now here's this room here. I would say this bedroom is huge. There's a beautiful ceiling here. Looks like there was a fireplace originally here and there's a mirror once again. And this room has a door that connects into the room next to it. And I think this is something I've seen very typical of in these older homes where there's like a baby room that connects to the master bedroom. Some nice green paint in here. We'll see this closet right here. It's a little bit bigger than the other room. There's only two bathrooms in this house. So this is a six bedroom, two bath in its current state. So we come down here, there's this hallway, and then there's a bathroom right here. <laughs> they have these hands here. Um, I think that's for the soap there. But look at the shower. It, it is definitely original um, from back in the day. Everything here is original. Here's another bedroom. The bedrooms are nice and large in this house. Then we have this bedroom here, which has a step. I would say this is probably gonna be more of a kid's bedroom here. Looks like this closet might have been installed um, after 1892. And come out here, there's this nice sunroom, upstairs, balcony, whatever you would wanna call it, where you can sit here and listen to the birds. You could totally make this your own. All right, something got stuck. All right, I'll meet you downstairs. I wanna say thank you for joining me on this tour here. And I wanna thank the realtor that allowed me to do a video of this wonderful property here. Definitely needs some TLC work. As you can see, probably quite a bit of work here um, to make this house livable. But once you do it, you're gonna have a really cool house. And there's not very many houses like this left. A lot of people are coming in and they're tearing them down and rebuilding them to something else. But I wanna see somebody come in and keep it original and just update it a little bit, make it more modern um, with the room set up, add another bath to it. But it's all up to you. It's your, your ideas and your creativity. Thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel. We're gonna have more videos like this. If other realtors allow me to come video houses that are unique like this from the 1800s, 1900s, Maybe if there's something from the 1700s, but in Texas, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we can find anything like that, but we're gonna find special houses to do videos of, and I'll see you at the next house. Please like, share, and subscribe, and my information's gonna be in the description. Thank you so much. Have a great day.